Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Quest for Glory 3, Wages of War. And we're going to look around and go do stuff. You see, like a... every other... <laughs> <laughs> you see a fierce looking lion tour guard. The sign below the eye reads magic. You can see the sign which reads apothecary. Hmm. So really, before we go into any of these places, we need to get our money exchanged. Because it's going to do no good to do much else. Is that pretty much every game? Yes. Well, except the fourth and the fifth. The first, th the first three, yes. Or the, well, two and three, I mean. You see the middle plateau of Tarna. To the west and below, you can see the tents of the bazaar and the river rolling past the savannah. To the east and above, you can see the huge statue standing over the city. Seeing if it would actually talk about this being the end. Okay. These doors lead into the welcome inn, judging from the signs above the doors. Okay. Which we wouldn't want to find that pretty quickly. Like, if you were a first-time player, you would want that to be something easily found. Yes. And then we see a small garden of ferns and trees. It doesn't say much. I'm too distracted. Hey. Who do you think I am, Cedric? <laughs> Ooh, I'll distract you. Ooh, let's go get some of that pixie dust from Cresha. <laughs> Ooh, <blue. laughs> we'll look around here while we're here. You see the junk dealer's tent. You see a good-looking young man. You see an older gentleman with a, con a contentious look and a twinkle <laughs> in his eye. This man seems like a very sweet person. Ha, ah, because it's the honey seller. Uh, you see a stand with bottles of honey. Mm, honey sacrilegious. sacrilegious. Ah. <laughs> I beat it by a second. You did. You see an arrangement of assorted odds and ends. Oh, it's the moose. You see a genuine imitation paper mache moose head, courtesy of the recycled prop department of Sierra Online. You can see a wide variety of weapons displayed around this stand. This man is a lively and active salesperson. You see a variety of salad oils. You see some bottles of aromatic oils. You see a greasy looking individual. Ha ha ha, the oil. Um, do we have to eventually sign our name to like the... There, the is, there is no guild to sign here. <gasps> That's so sad. You enter the north end of the bazaar and witness a dispute. So something you can do that will... You get points, but not as many. You can throw a dagger at him and stop him. What are you doing? That is not right. Or you can tip over this man's stuff and trip him. Either way does not give you the points that you should have. Stop him! Thief! Thief! So what we're supposed to do to get the full amount of points is chase him. You think being clever would give you more points. Well, they don't like violence. Please accompany us to the Hall of Judgment. And then messing with somebody else's items. You are led by the guard to the Hall of Judgment to attend the Judgment of the Thief. I'm afraid to click. I do love the Egyptian style. You know. The Council of Judgment has determined that you, Harami, have broken the laws of Tarna by taking things belonging to others. You have shown yourself to be without honor. Do you have anything you wish to say before you are named honorless? Be Harami. Once it changes. That's okay. Eventually. <laughs> Do I click? I don't ever remember clicking. I don't want you to click and then it just disappears. He says, hey, no big deal. Okay. Hey, big deal. Then, by the judgment of the council and the laws of Tarna, you, Harami, are now formally named Honorless. So you have acted, so you shall be. The Honorless One must leave the hall. He, no one can talk to him anymore, right? Correct. The Council of Judgment now summons the Prince of Shapir. You suddenly realize that the speaker means you. <laughs> I thought you were leaving there for a second. <laughs> and you do this one. The Prince of Shapir aided my gods in the capture of the Honorless One. The Council of Judgment commends the Prince of Shapir's actions on behalf of Tarna and thanks him. 
King Raja orders Rakesh and the Prince of Shapir to meet with him in his chambers immediately. You may enter into the presence of Raja Sartarna. Raja Sartarna, I stand before you. Rakesh Sartarna, you stand before me in honor. This is my friend, the Prince of Shapir. Okay, so, greet. You tell the king that you are honored to be in his presence. Prince of Shapir, you stand before me in honor. Rakesh, you brought along this Prince of Shapir to help you bring peace. How can a human be of such service to a lion talk? You, puny human, how will you aid Rakesh? Rakesh has called you a spy. Do you think you can sneak around and watch the leopard men without being discovered? We can answer him. You answer Raja's question. Very well. <laughs> so this Prince of Shapir has come to bring peace and harmony to Tarna. You grow too old, Rakesh. You must depend upon a human for help. Your age has made you cowardly and taken away your honor. Defend Rakesh. That's horrible. I know, he's not very nice. You, defe you defend Rakesh's bravery and honor. You need a human to speak up for you now, Rakesh? I do not need to defend myself to you of all people, Raja. Rakesh, you are of you of anyone should be demanding war instead of talking about peace. Rishaka is lost. Your own daughter has been killed by the Leopardmen. Do you not want revenge? The truth of what has happened to Rishaka has not been determined. When I know for certain about Rishaka, I will deal with the matter myself. I do not need all of Tarna to suffer the horrors of war for my daughter. Revenge for the sake of revenge is pointless. Mindless revenge is pure stupidity. He should have been king. Rakesh, <laughs> well he was. You... Human, do you have anything important to add to this conversation? Um... You speak of how Rakesh helped you in Shapir. You are fortunate, Rakesh, to have such a defender of your honor. Human, you may leave our presence now. I wish to speak further to Rakesh. You tell Raja farewell. Oh, those are the statues we can see them. Now. Yes. You see a huge stone statue of a man with a lion-like head. You're on you the up. They would make him like the, like these are more like humans. You know, you'd think they'd make him more like the lion type. Yeah. You are on the upper plateau of Tarna. You have a nice view of the city below you. Can you talk to the lion tar guards there? They don't really say much. They, they're just like, we're guards. Leave us alone. Okay. There we go. We're a little faster. <laughs> His legs are like... <laughs> might have the swagger he had in the previous game. Yeah, I like this swagger. I wonder something here. Oh. Oh. No, no. Oh. Sometimes you can steal. Uh, Narak said, Effendi, good day. I am the money changer, Dahab Kalis. Do you wish to exchange some foreign coin for the money of Tarna? Yes, please. All of it. Take my... Do we have to do it in phases like we did in the other game? Um, you just exchange it. You tell the money exchanger you would like to exchange dinars for royals. Good, good. I am most happy to exchange your money, Effendi. Good, <laughs> Many thanks. <laughs> so it was only 20 it took away. Well, that's not bad. Okay, so now that we've done that, we can start purchasing things. So we do need to get a few things. So let's talk. Ooh, rumors. You can be the fruit seller. Okay. Okay. There has been talk that Tarna is going to war with the Simbani. Very bad for business, Warzar. Mm-hmm. 
I am Semra bin Balhal. <laughs> Bal- I think Bala. I Bala? I think. The seller of succulent sensations for the mouth. <laughs> oh, God. The price of the fruit is a mere penance compared to the pleasure the fruit gives. You may have six of the fruits of your choice for but 50 commons. So, like, if I take a bite of this, am I literally going to get an erection? It's a little blue pill. <laughs> mm. You have to buy. And I can greet him. You greet the fruit merchant. <laughs> Oh, he said, have a fruitful day. Okay, so... Puns are fantastic. Just to build our communication. Okay. Very well, Effendi. You will make a poor man while you enjoy yourself with my fruit. I only took three bucks off. Or four. That's part of the culture's, like, bargaining. It's, like, actually an offense not to bargain. Mm -hmm. A thousand thanks, and may you enjoy each delicious bite of your purchase. You pay for it and put it away in your pack. Okay. The fruit the fruit seller sits patiently on his carpet as he tries to sell fruit. It's a bunch of ripe bananas. Bananas. It looks like the skin of a large spotted cat creature. You see a pile of hides. It looks like possum. <laughs> this man looks a bit like a, a hematep from the mummy. You see a rack of animal skins. Looks like a tray made of brass. Are there any Antwerp skins? <laughs> <laughs> that would be funny. Oh, I'm... just a blob I'm... of gel. <laughs> Hujumbo Buana. I have many animal hides and leather items for sale, as you can see. The price I charge will depend upon the item, derp. I do not gossip, get the hell out. <laughs> I make things from leather. You greet the leather worker. Okay, so we're going to need some water skins because the way to get stamina in this game is from the pool of peace, which you have to use water skins to get your stamina. Pills no longer exist. That's sad. So... Let's get ten. How many commons make up a royal? Um, I think a hundred. I think. Oh, okay. Well, that took a lot off. You pay for them, okay. Yay. It's, it's so funny, we're so far away from, like, the action of the square, like, the music is very, very soft here. Like, I can hear, like, some jungle jump drums, like, very slightly, and that's it. Well, isn't that a good, like, um, detail that they even thought of? Will he drop to three? Okay. Will he drop to four? Okay. We need, I think, five of these? They're really, that's, Yeah. Is it for something? Yeah, it's for something later. It's just best to get them you now. You already have five? I mean, one? Do you need to buy five if you already bought one? I haven't bought one. Oh, okay. You, you look around at the various animal hides, so you find some nice zebra skins. Okay. You pay for your purchases and put them away in your backpack. Okay. So, we got points for that. We have not done any thieving yet. Well, yeah, we're not going to do much. All right, you can be the weapon guy. Ah, I see that you are in need of a new weapon. I have one just right for you. Mm. Here is the finest of daggers. I, It, too, is made of Damascus steel. It, too, is sharper than a serpent's tooth. It is small enough to be concealed up your sleeve, to be ready when your foe least expects it. Mm. I have, without a doubt, the best weapons for sale in all of Tarna. If you will be needing a weapon, I am the man you should see. Come, take a look, and buy what you like. 
That's good, because I do need to buy stuff from him. <laughs> Make Thieves sign. You put your thumb upon your nose with your hand held perpendicular to your face and fingers outspread. Then you wiggle your fingers while crossing your eyes and patting your belly, just as you were taught in the famous adventurous correspondence school for thieves. Is that some sort of fraternity handshake, or what? Yes. Yes, it is. Okay, we need a fine dagger, which is really expensive. Yeah, royals even. Mm-hmm. I would be losing more money than I would earn for such a price. My friend, make me another offer. Okay. So be it. You have bargained beyond my skill, and I am overwhelmed. The deal is now yours. Great. The fine dagger looks like a good weapon. It is good. You are happy. I am happy. We have done well. Okay. You pay for it and put it away in your pack. Man, throw daggers are six. I want to get at least one more. Okay. These, the daggers are very interesting. I don't remember. <laughs> some of this stuff's new that they took out. So I don't ever remember that. And we need a spear. Spear, 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 spear. Notice it took away the first thing we were buying. Like Yes, because you don't need one again. Oh. That was quick and easy. Okay. The fine spear looks just like the one for the... the okay, well, you shouldn't know that that's why I was buying it, but that's definitely added back in as well. But that's exactly why I bought it. <laughs> Okay, so let's go to the oil seller, because we are a thief. You can be him. Oil, Sahib. Oil of all types and uses. Make your hair stay out of your eyes with oil. 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 <laughs> oil. A bubbling crude. <laughs> I wonder what he says. Oh. You should make fun of your betters, Affinity. Or you should not make fun of your betters. Hmm. Okay, so we got some olive oil. Oh, Popeye! <laughs> yeah, okay. May you slide easily and quickly through life, Affinity. You pay for it and put it away in your pack. A most hey. glorious and lovely day, kind sir. Can I sweeten your life today? No. Stay You're away from me. Sticky sweet. Just like a jar of gold and honey. Wait, what? Oh, well, apparently I bargained it down to exactly what it was. <laughs> okay. So, when we do this, I'll be the old man and you be the, the younger guy, since we are now doing a Sanford and Son impression thing here. Hey, young man, you look like you could use some of our mostly new items. Pop, these items aren't new, you know that. I didn't say they were new, dummy. I said they were mostly new. In the world of sales, you gotta learn to accentuate the positive. In other words, lie. I didn't say that. You want to blow this sale? Just you listen and keep your mouth shut. As I was saying, we have the finest selection of mostly new items in the land of Tarna. What can I sell you? You there. You want to buy something or am I going to have to charge you for sightseeing? Hello. What can we sell you today? Two men turn to look at each other for a second, then the older one twirls his finger by his head and they look back at you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Crazy. Ooh. Just look around, have you ever seen such quality used items gathered anywhere? Everyone is a guaranteed acronism. Pop, don't you mean antique? I know what I mean. You keep out of this. As I was saying, they are real antiques that you won't be able to buy anywhere else, so get them here. If you're looking for the bazaar, you've come to the right place. If you have money, then you are talking to the right man. I know I got something <laughs> you need somewhere. 
There are some folks around here who say that Tana's going to war is going to put us all out of business. Not me. Like to buy a World War One gas mask? Not many left in stock. I have, a, I have many questions. <laughs> the timeline? <laughs> yeah. My associate and myself are quality dealers and used items of unbelievable value. Wait, we sell junk. I am called N. Forda, and this dummy here is my son. Alright, so... We need the tinderbox. Um, Will not let us bargain? Hold on. There it goes, okay. I don't think they take bargains, but we'll see. Oh, they, they do. It's a deal. What do you mean, it's okay? You want to lose all of our money, dummy? I'm coming, Elizabeth! I'm coming soon! My only son's trying to give away all the things we work for! This is it! It's the big one! <laughs> oh, pop. Yeah, he, they did take it. Okay. You look around at all the junk for sale. The only thing of possible value is a tinderbox with a flint and steel for making a fire. A good choice! That is the same tinderbox used by Caesar when he crossed the Rubicon. It is both an <laughs> antique and a piece of memorabilia. <laughs> You're always welcome back if you want to buy something. I have further questions. And the blackbird. Like the... Is this the... Um, like the falcon? No, the, yeah, stuff? like we had in the other game we had to get. Yeah. That's it. You got the blackbird. Thanks. You pay your royal and buy a genuine imitation blackbird statue for your collection. Oh, imitation. Thanks for stopping by. Well, we got points for buying it, though. So which one's the real one? <laughs> blackbird. This blackbird brings back memories of your wonderful vacation in Razier. Hmm, wasn't there one in Spielberg, too? Too bad this is just a cheap plaster imitation. Hell, the rumor has always been that the one in the first game was the real one. This guy smells fishy. You would, too, if you sold fish all day. Ooh, out in the hot sun like that? Uh-huh. Fresh fish, Effendi. Just out of the river and still weathering in the death throes. Okay, we don't need any fish. Let's ask him about rumors. All the city talks about is whether we go to war or maybe not. Wars I do not like. Rather would... Rather would I be sitting here fishing than become some stranger or be dying from some wound. Ugh, wars are not friendly things, Effendi. No. Let's see what he says of the thief sign. You feeling okay, Fendi? Maybe you should get out of this hot sun. Mm -hmm. You're starting to stink like my fish. Oh god. Beads, beads, very fine beads. Um I have some beads I could give you. Very good beads, very pretty. Buy pretty beads. Rumors? <laughs> very good beads. So, yeah, let's buy some beads. Beads? Yes. Beads. What are we going to use the beads for? You pay for the beads and put them away. Yeah, they give us points. I feel like the thief is just kind of like an afterthought to this game. <laughs> Greetings of a glorious day. Buy a rope, Effendi. All who have adventure can sometimes use a rope. Hey, we need a rope. <laughs> a rumor? Let me think. There is talk that a thief is in the city, Effendi. This is very strange. There are no thieves in Tarna. Are they talking about us? <laughs> Oh, one of the brethren, eh? I was not, but when I was younger, I knew many in your profession. I am not. I was a tightrope acrobat in my youth, and many with your skills would come to have me teach them acrobatics. But Tarna is no place for... Th <clears throat> brethren. There is no guild here, and no place to sell items. Oh, that was cool. Acrobatics. 
Acrobatics are simple, really. You need to train your body to move correctly. Once you have mastered that, you can jump and do tricks to amuse yourself and others. More than that, someday you may need to quickly avoid something and know your body will know how to react. If you are interested, I will be happy to teach you for 50 royals. It's a skill well worth knowing. Yes, let's do that. You pay Rashid 50 royals. Rashid then shows you some flips and gives you some tips about maintaining your balance. You practice with him some, and you now have a better feeling of balance. You are a most skilled pupil. With sufficient practice, you will be a skilled acrobat. You need to practice frequently to master these skills, though. Do we go to him regularly, or how do we... That's it. That's... There isn't... That's just... We just got better. <laughs> okay. And buy the rope. Okay. A thousand thanks, Effendi. May your rope always be at your service. Now, what what magic rope? <laughs> what that did for us when we did the training? Our agility went up thirty. What are puzzle points? The points we have in the game so far. Oh, okay. What's the best this game? Like, what's the perfect? At five hundred. Oh, we're already like at almost fifty. <laughs> You see a cat-like creature known as a Kata from the land of Shapir. He has a friendly face and gentle eyes. You are at the south end of the bazaar. The stairs end to a boat dock, although there are no boats there currently. Greetings, Effendi. May I interest you in my carvings of wood? <laughs> from the beautiful wood of the jungles of Tarna, I carved the wild animals which roam this land. Okay, what about rumors? There is much talk of war around here. I do not understand. Why go to war and kill one another when you can live in peace and harmony? Oh, <laughs> well, that wouldn't bring in money. Sapphire pin. Oh my, you wear the gift of the cataphrag. The magic of the sapphire pin will always reveal that you are the Kata's hero, and always hide from the sight of an enemy. Okay. <laughs> Pardon me, sir, but I do not understand the customs of humans completely. Is that some form of human dance? The Boogaloo! You tell about your adventures in Shapir. It is such a pleasure to hear of news of my homeland. But can I express my happiness from your story? So, we know this is who we're supposed to be talking to here. Thank you for your kindness in bringing me this note from my aunt, Shima. It is so wonderful to have news of home. It is sad to be so far from the Shapir and those for which I care. So now... If we try to buy the carving, I will give. It will give me great pleasure to give you this leopard as a gift, my friend. I hope you will accept it as a token of our friendship. Yep. Aw, that's nice. So there we go. Now, hopefully, it will let me do this correctly without because you get points for giving him money. So I need to uh -huh. be careful how I do this. <laughs> I need to do it this way. The drummer smiles at you as you give him ten commons. Because if you do it the other way... You stealthily swap your common for a royal from the cup. <laughs> yeah, I've actually... And you know, you gotta be careful. I've done that with a paladin and lost like big honor. And I'm like, oops, I don't think it's a big honor, but... Yeah, see, our honor, I don't remember, because it was like 118, but we got honor for helping the Kata. Alright, here we go. <laughs> Good day, Master. How may this worthless son of a dog serve you? Perhaps you would like some meat? May I sell you some meat, please? Meat, 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 meat. Rumors. <laughs> you want to sh me to share information with you? To inform you with the facts? To gather your gossip? I am thoroughly thrilled and totally tongue-tied. With dog determination, I will nose for news. I will sniff out secrets just for you. 
You wish to know about me? Not fit to lie at your feet and chew your slippers, me? Oh, master, you me, you do me it's too much honor. Call me Kelb, you know, here, Kelb, sort of thing. Call me anytime, anywhere, and if I'm not selling meat at my stand or taking care of the puppies while my mate rests or eating or sleeping, I'll come running to your side. We'll buy meat. Actually, let's make the thief sign. Excuse me, master, but do you have fleas? Because <laughs> so one of the things you can do with, with him is you can bargain it all the way down to <laughs> one, and he'll accept no matter what you do. Oh, goody, goody, goody! If the good master offers a price, I will accept it. I am the most lucky cow in the world. Mm. Oops. I only bought one. Okay, good. I can buy lots more. We'll never need anything again. That's so cheap. Uh huh. I matter what. I wonder what it's made out of. Oh, most magnanimous, magnificent, munificent, beneficent, benevolent, malevolent, nonviolent, ultraviolet, ultra liberal lover of small furry animals. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. May your meat never molder or crawl with disgusting, creepy maggots. You won't regret this. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You, you walk away slowly. From... He's my new favorite character. He should have been like this game's um, said. <laughs> this man looks slightly disreputable and untrustworthy. Oh, wow. Let's steal from him. Amulets. Protect yourself from all misfortune. Amulets. I do not have a nice ambulance again. Itchiness. <laughs> Good day, Effendi. Rumors. Forgive me, Effendi, but I do not listen to gossip, nor do I spread it. Fine. I will buy whatever. I need a robe. I don't want to pay that much. That's a lot. Okay, I still want to pay less. Okay, I still want to pay less. Oh my lord. That was a tough one. Okay. That was horrible. Yeah, I know. It was not really great. Okay, but we got what we needed. We have completed this part of the bazaar, which is good, because we really only have one part of the bazaar left. It's strange to think we're two videos in and we haven't died. <laughs> That's that, that's not uh, that's not normal. No, I'm actually trying to see if a certain person shows up in the bazaar. Yeah, he because he can come through here, but he he hasn't yet. No, I'm getting stopped by the fish guy. Well, we can go up to the the next place of business and maybe come back before because we need to get to the next part all right here you go Adam oh hi you must be the Prince of Shapir people are talking about Wow I've never met a real prince before welcome to my pocket carry Prince apothecary and when we come back like wow Actually, you know what? We need a death. <laughs> okay, we lit the box with our tinder box. You suddenly feel a little strange and very dizzy. <laughs> wow! Or what is it, Olin oh, Wilson? Oh, like? wow! Whoa! Wow. wow! You spend the next couple of years sleeping in alleyways and eating out of garbage cans. <laughs> All choked up. Whoa. Then you die, a burnout drug addict. 
in the next episode. They have had police quest characters come. I know. Yeah, Sonny Bonds comes and arrests you. That would be great. Yeah. Keith Keith is alive. <coughs> come with me. <coughs> Ooh, oh, awesome. I'm not sure if he's going to make it. <coughs> He should have smoked the Cedric brand. <laughs> it's got less menthol and more tar. It's it from Tarna. <laughs> and in the next episode, we will talk to Salim. Stay tuned for part three of Quest for Glory 3, Wages of War. Bye, everybody. Bye.